I pray that God will establish you in the mighty name of Jesus. The kingdom of God, I'm talking about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. In the book of Isaiah, in the book of Psalms, in the book of Psalms 45 or 6, the Bible says, your throne is the, is, is the very throne of God. Your kingdom will last forever and ever. You will rule by treating everyone, treating everyone fairly. The kingdom of God is the kingdom that treats the people fairly. The kingdom of God does not have racism. The kingdom of God does not have discrimination. The kingdom of God treated, treats people, everyone fairly. Because the kingdom of God, hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. God, you are so good. Uh, if you are in prayer, prayer line, please unmute your phone so that you don't want destruction. My God, I want to thank you. Yes, Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Q and A mode on. God, you are so good. May now unmute themselves. My God, I want to thank you, Father. I want to bless your name, God. You are a great God. The kingdom of God does not discrimination, does not do, does not have discrimination, does not have racism. The, because the people, they belong to God. They are not your people. They are the people of God. So we have to treat people fairly, no matter their background, no matter who they are, whether they are Muslim, whether they are Hindu, whether they are what. The kingdom of God, when you operate in this warfare, a spiritual kingdom operation, you have to treat people equal. You have to treat people fair. You know, some people that are very wicked, you might go in a place, you see, it's only one car, one group, one, 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 one group. There is nobody there. Nobody will be allowed to work in that company because of these works of the darkness and enemy. God will not bless you. You will not be blessed. This world belongs to God. And God Almighty is God. He doesn't, he doesn't have any favorism. He loves you. He loves you and he cares about you. There is no point. The kingdom of God is operates fair. That's how you can rule the kingdom of God. Remember this very kingdom of God is in within you, in your heart. When the Pharisees were asking Jesus, when will the kingdom of God come? Jesus told them, the kingdom already is already here. It's within you, it's in your heart. What kingdom are you looking for? If you, if you cannot treat other people fairly, what kingdom of God can you, are you looking for? If you are so racism, what kingdom of God are you looking for? Even if the kingdom of God come, you can't enter because you are a racism. You are a racist. You are a wicked and a evil. I pray that God will deliver you. The Bible says, seek he, seek the kingdom of God and all these things will be added on you. If you are looking anything, God will hurt on you when you seek the kingdom of God. I repeat saying, go and start reading the Bible within 35 days this year, this month. And you will see that the kingdom of God will come. It will come into your heart. The kingdom of God will be given into your hand like this. Because the Bible says all things will be added on you. The Bible says in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians 3, 3 to 60. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, 3 to 6. The Bible says, you make it clear that you are a letter from Christ. You make it clear that you are a letter from Christ. You are the result of our work from, for God. You are a letter written not with the ink, but with the spirit of the living God. You are a letter written not with the tablets made out of stone, but of, uh, on human hearts. You are the letter. You are the letter that is not written by ink. You are the letter of God that is not written by the hand, the, hand, the human hand. Your letter is written on your heart. 
You are the soul of our work. You are the soul of the work of God. God has delivered. God has saved you. You are the letter. You are the letter. You have to be a letter leading. When people see you, they lead you like Jesus. They lead you God. They see you like a child of God. Not they see you like a demon, like a witch, like a wizard. They see you like a child of the living God. Because the kingdom of God is in your heart. Glory be the name of Jesus. The kingdom of God operation. God operates in a fairly, not the way you want to operate. It will not accept it, it will not accept it. It will not lead, it will lead you to hellfire. God has given you power and authority. God has blessed you the work that He has given you to be a supervisor, to a manager, to be to be the head, the president. But treat people fairly. If you are treating people wrongly, there is someone you will treat and that will be the end of your life. People of God, people that are people of God, they need you, they need your support, they need your help. Treat people fairly. That's what the Bible says. That is how the kingdom of God operates. operates, operates. Spiritual warfare, uh, kingdom oppression, that is how it operates. When the Pharisees confronted Jesus, they wanted to know which power and what, why is he doing this. He wanted to, they wanted to know the kingdom. Jesus told them, don't worry, the kingdom is within you. The kingdom is in you. Don't go to look for pastors or evangelists or prophets and, you, you, your king, and, and yet your kingdom is on you. It's on you in your heart. Although Christ, we can be sure, through Christ, we can be sure of, his, of this before God. In ourselves, we are not able to claim anything for ourselves. The power to do what we do comes from God. He has given us the power to serve under a new covenant. The covenant is not based on the written law of Moses. It comes from the Holy Spirit. It written, it written law, law kills, but the Spirit gives life. Hallelujah. That is the kingdom of God. That is the kingdom of God, how it operates. That's how the kingdom of God operates. Through Christ, we can be sure of this before God. The, the kingdom of God operated through Jesus Christ. If you hear people who are praying, they don't mention Jesus Christ. Run from that people. Run from that those people. You know the people, some people they pray, they say, Father God, in the name of, uh, Father, we thank you. Father, we are coming today. No, even they don't say Father. They say, God, we come to you this, this hour or this time to thank you. Now they don't say Father in the name of Jesus. They don't know. They say they don't say Father. They say God. You know we have so many gods. Now when they say God, they don't say Jesus. They don't. They, they, they don't hand with Jesus. That is a great enemy. Because every prayer we pray, it goes through Jesus Christ. That is the preach. That is the rather. When you operate in a spiritual kingdom operation. You have, because it is on you, it is on you. You pray with the name of Jesus. Don't forget to pray the name of Jesus. Every time you pray, pray finishing with the name of Jesus. Or you can start with the name of Jesus. You can, start, you can say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you, before your presence, before your throne. Father, in the name of Jesus, give us understanding this day. We commit our prayers this day into your hand. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. You end up by starting with Jesus or ending by Jesus Christ. Don't end without saying without Jesus Christ. Even if you pray one, one, one word, you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you in Jesus' name. That is all. You have to acknowledge Jesus. The kingdom, spiritual warfare, kingdom operation, it operates with Jesus. You have to, to acknowledge Jesus all the time. That's when the Bible says, all things will be added unto you. If you don't operate with Jesus, then your kingdom is somewhere. It's not the kingdom that we are talking about. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. 
I am going to pray for you that any power that is all in you from, the, from operating the kingdom of God shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, God, God, King Jesus. We thank you. Every witchcraft power covering your glory, I command them to die in the mighty name of Jesus. The, the, the satanic kingdom covering your glory, that your glory cannot be signed. Let, to, let the kingdom of darkness be destroyed in Jesus' name. I command kingdom of the devil, kingdom of darkness operating in your life to die. To be destroyed in Jesus' name. I command every covenant of witchcraft affecting your destiny. I command them to die and to break to pieces in Jesus' name. Every satanic kingdom, every witchcraft kingdom, witchcraft society, witchcraft kingdom operating in your life, operating in your children, let them die. Let them burn to ashes in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray every agents of witchcraft sent to enforce marital failure. I command them to be frustrated and fall down and die in Jesus' name. They are this wicked and evil satanic kingdom operating in the life of your, in, in your family. That cannot, that cannot let you go. This, this evil and wicked kingdom that has been established in your family. That does not want you to go. Let them catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. You know, each family, they have their gods. They have their kingdom. They have their gods they are worshiping. So the God that we have, the God of the heaven, that's the one I'm talking about. Any gods apart from the God of heaven, let them be furnished. Let them be destroyed. Let them be, de be destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray that God will deliver you in Jesus' name. I pray that God will connect you with the kingdom of heaven the kingdom of heaven in the mighty name of jesus when you are connected with the kingdom of heaven and all other things will fall will be added on you in the mighty name of jesus let god connect you with the kingdom of heaven remember the bible says you have been given keys of the kingdom of heaven Anything you bound will be bound in heaven. Anything you lose here on earth will be loose in heaven. Therefore, every kingdom of darkness operating in your life, let them catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. I pray that the kingdom God was saying that you have been given, let it, let, 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 let it start connecting now in Jesus' name. Let that kingdom connect it to you now. Because when you have that kingdom, you have the power. You have the power that cannot be oppressed. You have that the power that you cannot fear. You have that the power that, that no one will, will scare you in the name of Jesus. No matter they will try to undermine you, they will try to call your name, but God in heaven will open your ways, will open doors and windows of heaven in Jesus' name. When you operate in a spiritual warfare uh, kingdom oppression, you will know how to give your tithe and offering. You will know how to give your fruits, your first fruit offering. The first fruit offering is the best bank in the world. When you are operating in spiritual warfare, uh, kingdom operation, you will know how to give your first fruit offering. Your first fruit offering is the best bank in the world. The best bank in the world and in heaven. So as we are going to take our first fruit offering, very soon I will start teaching the, the, the teachings of the first fruit offering. And it will be based on, on prayer rain and popcorn. I will not be preaching in Periscope. Periscope, it is good, yes, but you will go to our website, you can get the prayers there, and also you, uh, you can get the videos there. But I will not teach the fruits, the first fruits on Periscope. I will be teaching in prayer line and popcorn. I will give you the number for prayer line. And I've, 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 I'm down, I have downloaded the new popcorn so that they can give me more names, more, more, more people. The, the one we had, it is only 50, but now we are more than 50. So we want, I want, I have I've changed. So I will, I will hurt you again. Then tonight you will come for popcorn. Dr. Rindy will be teaching, will be preaching. 
I pray that God will help you. We have a lot of testimony from last on 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 Thursday, the deliverance that we did. Many testimony we have a lot of testimony. People are calling me because I warned you. I told you that when you do the deliverance, some things will happen, but don't worry about things which will happen. Relax and 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 and, and let them go. Don't fear. And that's what happened. Many people they receive their deliverance. I pray that God will give you the kingdom of God that, will, that does not have oppression, that does not have any issues. The kingdom of heaven that operates in your life in Jesus' name. I pray as many who have entered into a covenant of death and destruction against your life and, and the destiny, I command them to fall down and die. Yes. Some, some of you, men of you, you have no idea that you have entered into the covenant of death and, and frustration and, 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 and for frustration in your life. You know, there's this thing that I always tell people. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Be good to people. Be kind to people. Because when you are kind to people and good to people, it will be it you will prepare your it will go to your children. If you love your children, be kind to people and do good things to people. King David was a man of God's own heart. King David was a wonderful, wonderful king. King David was so good, he was a good and a good, a good king who never fell, who never defeated in the battle, who was composed prayer and worship, who prayed God, who danced, who danced God until he became naked. But when he sinned, the sin entered in the family. This sin is still going on up to this time as we are talking. David prayed God and God forgave him. After God forgave him, what happened? The demon went straight to the, his children. That's why I'm, I'm telling you that do good for your children and children. Anything you are doing now, you can it cannot affect you, but it is going to affect your children and children. That's when you build the kingdom of God for your children, it is going to affect them in the future. They, one, one time they will thank you. Be good and do good to the kingdom of heaven. Be good and go and be kind to the kingdom of God. Be good and be kind to everybody, to every people. Don't don't criticize people. Don't think that Muslims they are not from God. Don't think that Hindus they are not from God. Don't think that Catholic from they are not from God. Don't think that other people are not from God. All the people they are from God, and anybody can be saved. No matter where, which background they are, they are from. Don't treat people fairly. Don't treat people badly. Treat people fair. This is a message that I know some people. Anger of God is rising. Bitterness is rising. Because of this demon that is operating on the heart now. Demon of racism. Demon of criticize. You go to them, you start working. You go there, you find this one group. You are only a different person. And then they will, they will separate you and they will hate you. They don't want to see you. One time, I, I went to, I was working in England. I, I shared you this thing, uh, this, this, this testimony before. Now, where I was working, the person there said that I hate black people. I don't like Africa. I hate them. If I will work, if, if this African will come to work with me, I better die. I don't I don't want to see African people. I don't I hate them. I don't like them. I better die. So I I had him he was saying that and it was very bitter. And then me and my child of God that is, because he says he's better die, and then I said, Let him, let her die. She shall say it. Let her die. And exactly that's what happened to her. That person died, honestly speaking. That that person died. He got accident when he was driving and he died because he he, he, con he make a covenant of death straight away. Some people they said my dead my my dead body even if this person would go my dead my my dead body it would happen. Don't make any covenant with the dead. 
You shall not die but live. Don't be, be easy to swear. Don't swear, don't swear, don't swear, please. It will happen. Words are very powerful. Remember the kingdom of God is within you. Seek ye the kingdom of God and all other things will add on you. Even if you, are, you feel bad, you don't like something, let it go. Give God, let, let, let God take care. Don't worry. That is why the Bible says, don't worry. Let worry take care of themselves. Seek ye the kingdom of God and all other things will be added on you. The Bible says that those who, those who seek the kingdom of God, they will find. And everything, all things will be added on you. Everything you want, it will be added on you. When Solomon decided to seek the kingdom of God, he prayed, he prayed, he said, God, I need wisdom. I don't need anything. I need you. I need you to guide me. What happened? God gave me more wisdom and everything he didn't even ask. When you seek the kingdom of God day and night, you fast, you go visual night prayer, you follow the prayer, the right person, things will be added to you in Jesus' name. I pray wherever the glory of your wedding has been buried, I command them to be resurrected in Jesus' name. You know the glory of your wedding. Some people, their weddings have been buried on the ground. They are on the grave. Now, when your glory of your wedding has been buried, you can be wedding today. You do a colorful, wonderful wedding, but you will never enjoy that wedding because the wedding is on the grave. They have been buried there. I pray that any power, that is burying your glory, the wedding of your glory. That is burying your marriage. Let them die, die in the name of Jesus. Remember, the kingdom of God is in you. It is up to you to take faith and action to go for it in Jesus' name. Every, every witchcraft hand upon, upon the glory of your life, I command them to die by fire. I command them to be destroyed and be rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. Every witchcraft hand upon your glory of your life, let them die, let them be destroyed, let them render powerless in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, every satanic kingdom, satanic kingdom, satanic kingdom operating in your family and your children, let them be, let them catify and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, my Father, I pray that God will deliver you in Jesus' name. You witchcraft mark and the signs of hatred and the dislike in your life be destroyed in Jesus' name. There are a satanic witchcraft mark and the signs of hatred. When satanic witchcraft mark and, uh, has been marked on you, that's when everybody hates you. They hate you completely because the kingdom of darkness is operating in your life. Therefore, I pray that the kingdom of darkness, that make the mark of the witchcraft to operate in your life, let them catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. This is spiritual warfare prayer. I am praying the prayers that will deliver you from satanic witchcraft mark. You have been marked by witchcraft. You have been marked by the kingdom of darkness. That's why they, they see you and they follow you and they attack you every time. You have been marked by satanic kingdom. You have been marked by the kingdom of darkness. That, 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 that they want to destroy your life. Therefore, I come against every kingdom of darkness. I come against them. I break them. I destroy them. I command them to catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let the kingdom of darkness be destroyed from your life in Jesus' name. Let the kingdom of the devil be destroyed in Jesus' name. Let the kingdom of witchcraft be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let the kingdom of evil people be destroyed in Jesus' name. Let the kingdom of satanic oppression in your life be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, every stubborn witchcraft covenant from your father's or your mother's side, affecting your progress and your glory, I command them to break to pieces in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, God Almighty, I pray. You, are, you witchcraft dreams, remote controlling your destiny, 
by fire yeah, and the, by the blood of Jesus be destroyed in Jesus name said witchcraft dream remote controlling there is witchcraft remote controlling they control you like pepper they control you like like the way they control their own car they they hold you like this in their hands they control you i pray by the power and the blood of jesus every witchcraft dream controlling that they control your life let them catch fire and burn to ashes in jesus name let their hands be weathered let their hands to be cut off in the mighty name of jesus christ God, you are so good. You are God Almighty. King of glory, King of glory, King of kings, I thank you. I pray that you agents of darkness, witchcraft, serving the, uh, uh, serving the problem of your life. They are witchcraft, agents of witchcraft. That is, are, are, are the ones serving your problem. They are the one who provide your problem. I command them. The problem, the problem they are, they are putting in you, I am commanding them to change their direction and go back to the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Every witchcraft agency supplying or serving you with the problem, let the very problem go back and destroy themselves. Let them go back to the sender and destroy the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Witchcraft blanket covering the glory and the goodness of your life. Be burned to ashes. Let satanic, uh, 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 satanic, satanic, satanic blanket. Do you know the satanic blanket? They cover you. When you are sleeping, they cover you with their blanket. Now they do you anything they want. Nothing, you pray, pray, nothing will come out because you are covered by satanic blanket. Satanic blanket, catch fire. Witchcraft blanket, catch fire. Burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Witchcraft umbrellas. Out in your prayers, let it catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Yes, I pray that God will destroy them by fire, by thunder, As in the own. mighty name of Jesus. My God, I want to thank you. You witchcraft power, cause, causing, uh, causing breakup in your marital relationship, causing hatred from your close, your, your chosen husband, or broken you, broken you, broken you from your chosen husband, from rocketing you, be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. There is this power of witchcraft, break, breaking up marital. <coughs> this power, they break marital. They break your marriage. They, they are broken you from getting the, the husband, the wife that you want to marry. They broke you. When there's somebody wants to marry you, they go and broke the person. Or you can get the relationship, and then this power, the, power, the witchcraft power, they go and cause confusion, then the marriage break up immediately. Or you can get some people, they love you so much, you talk with them short time, they, they, they really love you, they show love and care, and then suddenly they disappear, they walk away from you. So you wonder, you, you, you are in the state of really feeling bad to yourself and, and, and pitying yourself. You don't know what to do. But the kingdom of God is in your hand. Seek he the kingdom of God and all other things will be added on you. When you know how to seek the kingdom of God and all other things will be added to you, it will not function. Wherever they will do to you, it will not work for you. They can block you. <laughs> they can do everything to break and do anything good, but God will deliver you. One time, an evil prophet, he, he called me, said he has a prophecy for me. And then he told me negative prophecy, very evil prophecy. What I did, I said, you that prophecy, hear the word of God. It is not me. You are not God. It came from the mouth of the devil. <clears throat> Therefore, I am sending the fire of God to that same prophet and, the, and this prophecy to die and burn to ashes with the prophecies in Jesus' name. If I follow the prophecy of that prophet, I could not be here today. Even I, my ministry could not grow because it was bad. He prophesied so wicked and evil. I pray that any witchcraft operating in your life in the name of the prophet. Let them catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Yes. 
Hallelujah. <coughs> Jesus is God. I thank God because God is good. When I talk like this, I feel my, like everywhere I'm boiled. I feel the power of God. And I feel that God is the kingdom of God is at hand, has come down. I am praying the truth that God will deliver you from the hands of the enemy. I feel the fire of God has fallen down right now. If you are battling with any satanic attacking you, a satanic, the kingdom of darkness attacking you, let them catch fire. Let them burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Every kingdom of darkness attacking your family, attacking you, broken you, let them catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, you satanic kingdom of darkness attacking this person, die, 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 die in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. <coughs> I pray that God will deliver you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I breathe the blood of Jesus. I breathe the blood of Jesus. I breathe the blood of Jesus. Oh, yes. God, God, God is God. I breathe the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Move, 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 move. All the blood of Jesus, all the blood of Jesus. Move, move, move in the name of Jesus. Glorious God, I thank you because the blood of Jesus is alive. It is going to destroy every dark kingdom. It is going to destroy every spiritual demonic kingdom, every evil satanic kingdom the blood of jesus is going to destroy them every evil operating in the kingdom of darkness the blood of jesus is going to destroy them blood of jesus god go and destroy spiritual kingdom of darkness go and destroy every darkness operating in anyone in the life of anyone in jesus name in the mighty name of jesus yes god i want to thank you father i bless your name god oh god Oh, oh God, my Father, I want to thank you because you hear us. You hear our prayers, God. You will destroy every satanic kingdom operating in your life and the life of your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I want to thank you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray every witchcraft power affecting your marriage and your business fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Fall down and die. In the mighty name of Jesus, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft oppression, operating, uh, every witchcraft power affecting your marriage, affecting your business, affecting your job. Let the fire of God burn them to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my God, I want to thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I give you the glory. I give you the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, then basakiri ambara basota. Rabba santara rabasira. Maraika maso. God, yes. You witchcraft and wizard holding meetings because of this person. I command you to fall down and die. You witch, witches and wizard holding meetings, sacred meeting in the kingdom of darkness against this person. I command you to catch fire, burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. You witchcraft spirit fighting and quarreling in the life of this marriage, in, the, in your marriage. <coughs> Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, I want to thank you, Jesus. I press you, God. You are wonderful. You witchcraft spirit of fighting and quarreling in your marriage. Fall down and die. Some wicked power. They are quarreling, fighting your marriage right now. They are powers of darkness. Fighting and quarreling against your marriage. They don't want this man. They don't want this woman. They don't, they rose again in, yes, in laws. They are in rows, they are panic in rows, attacking your marriage. Wherever they are, such a people, let the fire of God answer them. Let the fire of God stop them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, you witchcraft power blocking your divine connection. There are, there are powers of witchcraft, wicked power, satanic power. The kingdom of, of darkness will, will, will disconnect you, will, will block you. From your divine connection. When you are about to get your divine connection. 
those wicked powers of darkness will run and block you. So your connection will be, will be disconnected. Divine connection. I am always telling you people, people of God, you need the divine connection. You need to be connected with a woman and a, a woman of God or a man of God. A woman of God, anointed woman of God, anointed man of God, anointed prophet of God, anointed prophet, a prophetess. You need that divine connection. Without the divine connection, even if you give, even if you do what, nothing will happen to you. You need that connection. The connection that will connect you to God. First of all, you need a divine alpha connection. Then you will get a divine connection to heaven. Who knows how to disconnect? Who, are, who knows how to attack those powers of darkness over your life in Jesus' name? What I'm doing right now, I'm doing spiritual oppression. Spiritual warfare, kingdom of oppression. That is how we pray. It. If you don't know how to attack the kingdom of darkness, then it cannot work. Many people in the churches... They are in the churches, but their kingdom, the, the, the kingdom of, of, of darkness are operating in their life. I pray that any kingdom of darkness operating over your life, let them be vanished. Let them be destroyed. Let them be rendered powerless in Jesus' name. Yes, my God, I want to thank you, Jesus. I am going to prophesy to you 2017 once again, because we are in January. This year is a year of Victory and prosperity. You cannot win victory without fighting. You cannot win prosperity. You can't prosper if you cannot plant. You will be a good plant. Plant a seed. Be a giver. That is how you will penetrate. You, you will fight. That's why you will win the victory. I prophesy to you 2017. Every step on witchcraft, every step on witches and wizards, that, that, that wants to follow you. That wants to follow you as you are following this prayer, as you are following me, as you are following this ministry. They will fall down one by one and die. All of them, no matter who they are. The wrath of God, the turn of God, the work of God is going to fall upon them and they will be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy right now to your life, to your spirit. Hear the word of God. Any wizard, any witchcraft following you, 2017, they will fall down and die, all of them, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I want to thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. You are a great God. Yes, Lord, thank you, Father. You forces of witchcraft in any area, I remove you into the year 2017. 2017. Any forces of witchcraft in any areas, I am removing it. I remove it. I remove it. I remove it in the mighty name of Jesus. I remove it by fire. I remove it. I remove it by fire in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to get out of your way and fall down and die. Yes. Any forces of witchcraft in any area, I remove you. 2017, I command you to go and get out, to go to your way and vanish in Jesus' name. You will not follow this person 2017. You have been following this person for a long time. Now is a high time that 2017 is a year of victory, is a year of prosperity. Therefore, the people will win. The people will prosper as they follow this prayer, as they follow this ministry in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this year, year 2017, I destroy all the manipulation and the witchcraft forces against your life and your family in Jesus' name. Every manipulation, every controlling demon, evil people who are controlling, manipulating 2017, they will be disgraced and exposed in Jesus' name. Every manipulators and the controlling this 2017, it, it will not function in your life. I destroy them. I confuse them. I bring the fire of God to confuse them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will come, but they will not prosper in, you, in your life. Their manipulation controlling will disgrace them. They will disgrace. There are some wicked and evil personality 
who have the spirit of Jezebel and Herb. Herb died long time ago. Jezebel died long time ago, but their spirit is operating in the life of people. You find this manager, this president, this, this, these kings, they are operating under demonic spirit that operating on their life. So they operate and with the manipulation controlling because they are kings, because they are present, so they can they can they can destroy your life. They cannot succeed in the name of Jesus. They will come in one way, but they will be disgraced and exposed in Jesus' name. Watch and see. Anyone in your life manipulating you and controlling you, they will be disgraced and exposed in Jesus' name. They are going to be exposed and disgraced in Jesus' name. God, has, God is not joking. God is angry with them, and they are going to be exposed and disgraced in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father. All witchcraft power wants to frustrate your vision and your labor. 2017, they will fall down and die. They cannot frustrate the work of your labor. Because you are going to plant your seed, the first fruit seed. So any witchcraft, any wizard, any occult, any evil, that will come to attack your, your finances, the work of your labor, they will die. They will be destroyed. I have said that the best ever you can do to your life is to blunt your seed of fast fruit over it. That is the best bank in the world. And if witches and wizards will come to attack the work of your labor, they will die. I'm going to pray, anoint you, and set you, anoint you, and set you, and prepare you for the power of the Lord to, to feast you in this year, in this month, before the end of this month. So that God can bless you and, and, and release the blessings that he has for you in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that no wind, no witchcraft wind, no satanic wind, no sickness, no diseases, that will come to take your life. All will come to put you in the bed of this 2017. No sickness, no diseases, no evil, no powers of darkness, no kingdom of darkness. That will bring sickness and diseases in you to put you in your bed sick in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I command now Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, that he will destroy sickness and diseases and any evil powers of darkness that will operate in your life 2017 will be destroyed by fire and be destroyed completely from your life in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. Lord, I bless your name. I give you the glory, Jesus. You are wonderful. You are worthy. What is your name? There is no one like you. Jesus, we lift your name up. We thank you and we magnify your name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I seal this prayer with the, the, with the wall of fire. I seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. No one will be attacked because of this prayer. Every demon that will rest against this prayer will not prosper, will not attack anyone. In the mighty name of Jesus, this prayer will deliver you, will deliver many of you that those who are listening to this prayer. We pray in the YouTube, in the Ustream, wherever you are, Facebook. This prayer is going to deliver you in Jesus' name. You will move from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi, saying bye bye to you. See you tonight, 9 p.m., Periscope and Popcorn. If you have not uh, if if you are not joined Babcon, please join Babcon now. They have they have more people. They can call so many people. Give me your phone number. I will invite you. Give me your phone number. I will invite you. Or you can come to prayer line. Our prayer line number. I will give it to you if you want. Once you call me, I will give it to you. I am going to put the prayer line number both UK and 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 UK, UK USA and Canada. And the rest of the world, if you need a prayer line, I can give it to you because I have 66 uh, prayer line number. I pray that God will help you. Call me. My number is 905-792-3798. If you want me to hurt you on our popcorn. I've deleted those people who are not participating, who are not coming. So their names are no longer there. I have more room now. 
I want you to send me your number. This is my cell phone number. You can reach me on WhatsApp or wherever you can use, but this is a cell phone number. You can text your number so that I can hurt you on popcorn. We would be doing a lot of deliverance on popcorn and prayer line. You can see we, we can't have a, a periscope. It is a lot of distraction. So we, uh, we want the flowing of the Holy Spirit. I tried on, on, on Thursday, but the Holy Spirit stopped me and said, no, let's go to prayer line and popcorn. And it was, that's, that's how many people were blessed. Now, uh, our number once again is 905-792-3798. It would be on our website, all the numbers, our landline numbers and the, and the cell phone number. It, it is there at, on the website. I'm going to put them clearly again. So go there and get this number and God will help you in Jesus' name. Remember, our website is www dot overcomers dh <coughs> ministry dot blogspot dot ca thank you very much god bless you see you see you 9 p.m tonight uh, prayer line and the popcorn call me if you need your if, if you need prayer line number or you need me to hand you on pair and popcorn god bless you so much have a wonderful time this is your host once again Prophetess Dr. Christine is saying bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. Bye. <clears throat> One thing I want to tell you, I love you so much and there's nothing I can do about it. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>